it sounds like the 980 is going to get stomped uh, out of the out of the lineup and get replaced by the GTX 1070 because we're looking at like three hundred and seventy nine dollars, I think. Is that right? Three hundred seventy nine dollars yeah, for three, the GTX 1070. Three seventy nine MSRP, and then the Founders Edition thing on that one is four forty nine. Um, that's June tenth, I guess. Availability. Yeah. We don't have. I don't have hardware in yet to do uh, to talk about performance stuff. But they did actually, kind of surprisingly, release the final specs right. on their website. Um, so you have an idea of what the clock speeds are. Uh, the boost clock. The clocks are a little bit lower than the um, GTX ten eighty. Mm -hmm. uh, but you are, you do have a pretty significant reduction in CUDA core count, right? You're um, you're actually going from uh, twenty five sixty down to nineteen twenty. So that's what a twenty percent drop in uh, core count. So that, I mean, it's, it'll be a significant, significant drop. Right. Uh, the memory speed is less because it's G GDDR five instead of G five X. Um, I mean, it technically, is, it it's less CUDA cores than a GTX nine eighty. <laughs> right. Right. Because GTX nine eighty has twenty forty eight. Um, you know. But it'll still be faster than nine eighty dramatically, right? Because yeah. it's it's running way higher clocks. Uh, than that and the memory performance is actually um, uh, better as well so um, it's uh, it'll it'll still be there that they claimed that the 970 would be faster than the Titan X as well mm -hmm. now I, that may be only in the VR stuff right because of the things we talked about before mm -hmm. um, or it may end up being just in terms of raw performance it's kind of right there in which case that would be super impressive yeah. uh, if they can do a 379 dollars part that is beating the 980 ti that was you know 650 bucks just a couple of weeks ago um while running at less power as well did they release the power on it i don't know if they did um maybe they didn't release typical power on it but uh i'm, I'm excited for the 1070 i think a lot a lot of people are going to be more interested in that just in terms of you know it's it's the price point more people are going to be able to um afford afford right and you know the gtx 970 despite kind of some of the uh, uh, setbacks it had with the whole three and a half gigs of memory versus four gigs of memory thing. It was still the most popular card of its generation by like a significant margin, maybe an order of magnitude, right? Um, so I, I, I'll be curious to see how that how it lines up. Uh, they're rating this one at, where is it at? 150 watt TDP, so 30 watts less than the GTX 1080. So... Hopefully we'll have this in soon. Obviously we'll have it before the June 10th launch. Um, but uh, I, I did put out like a, I was asking people on Twitter for this card. I usually am only doing like two resolutions in terms of testing. Would you rather, I think 2560 by 1440 has to be tested. Yes. Um, but would you rather, in addition to that, have 1080p or 4K? Would you rather have, this is what the vast majority of monitors still are, is 1080p. Or would you rather have 4K both for a monitor you might want in the future or kind of a surrogate for like high resolution VR performance, et cetera? Uh, and it's been interesting to kind of see feedback on that. Uh, you know, some people obviously going, getting greedy and going, well, obviously we want all of the benchmarks. I was going to say, I, I can't imagine anybody saying anything other than I want all of them because I want to <laughs> see if there's any, you know, reasonable frame rate increase over the existing 1080p cards, which at some level doesn't matter unless you're a psychotic Twitch gamer. Um, or B, uh, it's 4K monitors seem so far out for most people still, uh, even for gaming. But I mean, is, has there been outside of the the, the ballas of humanity, probably myself included, that wants 1080 and 4K? Um, has there been any sort of you know push in any particular direction? Not really. Um, I, I, I'm actually I kind of expected the immediate response to be it should be 1080p should be the other resolution but it seems to have been kind of mixed 50 50 so far i'm gonna to have to go back and look through all of this um after the fact in my mind i kind of look at it as i hate saying it but like 1080p is a solved problem right, right. that that's that's kind of what my mentality is because of all the hardware i see now at some point as you decrease the cost of video cards like if you get down to 150 dollars video card or even a 199 video card that's probably not true um you can still see improvements in that price but at 379, I feel like it. I, I almost I, maybe I just need to do all three and kind of just say, look, 1080p is a solved problem here, right? And right. kind of say that that it's it's this will solve all your problems, but so will the 390x, and so will the GTX 980 or the 970 for that matter, right? right. Um, but hopefully, I get the card in with enough time to make those 
competent decisions and statements, if nothing else. <laughs> or at least make them with confidence. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 